Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In this video we are going to take a look at how to draw 2D graphics in Swift UI using Canvas View Canvas View introduces in Swift UI 3. It helps to draw 2D graphics inside Swift UI View. Canvas View provides a native solution for Swift UI developers. It encapsulates context and size inside it. Context of graphics context acts as a pencil for the developer. It helps to carve out shapes inside the view. While the size provides the view bound of the canvas view. Size consists of the width and height of the frame. Let's now work on our example of drawing shapes inside a canvas view. First, create a canvas view inside the closure. Add context and size inside it. Then add frame modifier with a width of 300 and height of 200. add another modifier of border as color yellow and add the width of 4 this will represent a canvas view with frame size and border as appearing inside the preview inside the canvas closure adds a let called rect which is equal to cg rect add origin as 0 and size as size from the canvas view context This will help to create a drawing canvas of the same size as our canvas view with the origin at the center of the rectangle. To draw the shape, we use our pencil called context. Inside it, we will draw a stroke of a shape. Inside it, add a path. A path is a series of drawing instructions such as start here, draw a line to here, then add a circle there, all using absolute coordinates. Swift UI has some pre-created path inside this. We are using an ellipse then add the dimensions as same as rectangle we created. In the width input add the color and then add the line width. This will create an ellipse same size as a rectangle. But here we can see that our graphics are out of bounds. So we need to add an insert that will add padding on both the sides of the ellipse. Just after the CG rect, we use insert by modifier and add x and y axis values. Now let's draw another graphics. Create another canvas view. Wrap a canvas views inside a scroll view. Add border and frame for the new canvas view. Now we create a triangle to do so. create a function called as triangle which will take rect as input which will return a path then create a variable called as path and initiate it with a path class now we need to instruct a path to move to the point then add the following line as per instructions These rect values are used by considering a rectangle using a coordinate system. After adding a path instructions finally return the path. Then inside the canvas view we create a constant as rect. Now we will use the context fill function. This will create a graphics with having fill color inside it. add the path as a function triangle and add the input of rect inside the width add color as red here we need to add a minimum of x not a max of x now here we can see a triangle has appeared let's draw another shape of a rounded triangle to do so create a canvas view add the rect constant then use the context fill function and use a path class with a rounded rectangle and add these values 
Finally add frame and border. So here we can see a rectangle shape has appeared. Now let's draw an arc. Create a new function called arc. Then inside it requires an input of rect and return as a path. Then inside it create a constant as starting angle which confirms to double which equals 90. Then create a const as a path that equals to path initializer. Create a closure that will provide a path constant. Then create our arc using add arc function and add the necessary details. Then inside the view add another canvas view and create a constant of rect. Add the padding, frame and border modifiers. Finally using context stroke function, add our arc function inside it. And provide a rect as input. And here we can see that a view has appeared. So this is how we draw shapes inside the canvas view inside Swift GUI. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.